when the crew module touches down eventually the main parachutes also will be released away from the crew module impact is sensed यहां इसकी घोषणा कर दी गई है क्रियो मॉड्यूल को सुरक्षित टचडाउन करा दिया गया है बंगाल की खाड़ी पर ये आप विजुअल देख सकते हैं खुशी की लहर वैज्ञानिकों में जूबलिन एम्बियंस इन द मिशन कंट्रोल सेंटर हियर एट सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर श्री हरिकोटा On your TV screens the visuals live from okay, the Bay of Bengal. Mission director. This is mission director. The TVD1 mission has fully accomplished its objectives. The crew module has safely landed the target point. Mission uddeshya prapt kar liya gaya hai. Ab aapko sambodhit karenge ISRO adhyaksh Shri S Somnath. ISRO has achieved a successful test vehicle flight and has moved a step closer to the prestigious Gaganyaan mission. We take leave from you do continue to stay tuned for the address by Secretary DOS Chairman Isro Shri S Somnath Aap sabhi darshakon ko shubhkamnaye hum aapse aagya lete hain I'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the TVD1 mission The purpose of this mission was to demonstrate the crew escape system for the Gaganyaan program through a test vehicle demonstration in which the vehicle has gone up to a uh, Mach number which is a speed of sound slightly above that and initiated a an abort condition for the crew escape system to function uh, it uh, took the crew escape system took the crew module away from the vehicle and uh, subsequent operations of the crew module separation from the crew escape system all the parachutes opening and touched down on in the sea at the required velocity has been very well accomplished and we have got confirmation of the data of all of this and uh, we will be further doing the uh, approach recovery operations of the crew module to be collected from the sea brought to the port by the ships that activity will continue to happen Uh, till now based on the data everything has performed very nominally and perfect i will also like to tell the reason for why we had a hold uh, we initially wanted the launch to happen at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, but there was some weather related issues we have rescheduled the launch to 8:45 am but after going through the nominal lift off process there was a hold issued by the ground computer which is called the uh, automatic launch sequence computer which detected a sort of a uh non conformance for allowing the engine to continue the thrusting to further go so this happened due to a monitoring anomaly in the system so we could identify it very very fast and correct it and uh, to make the stage ready it took some time to refill the gases and that once that has been completed we went through the proper automatic launch sequence which uh, checked the entire health of the vehicle and finally the mission computer and the ground checkout computer authorized the launch to take off which uh, released the rocket from the launch pad and subsequent activities of the flight as well as the post uh, termination about uh, sequence also got executed perfectly so i'm very happy that our team could understand uh, in case of any anomaly how to rectify, rectify and come back fast as fast well.